So what they have here, this uh, hierarchy, anybody ever hear this, hierarchy of control? No? How about you, uh, Morgan, ever hear this one? Oh, Carl Comardo has, okay. Essentially what this has to do with, actually NIOSH had a lot to do with this, National Institute of Organizational Safety and Health Administration, which actually uh, feeds in a lot of this data uh, as does the CDC uh, into the um, into the OSHA. Um, but what this is all about is eliminating of hazards, okay? risk lowering the risks. Okay? Uh, increasing effectiveness uh, comes here, okay? going up from the from the bottom of the uh, take the inverted uh, pyramid, um, and then an increasing participation and supervision needing from the top to the bottom. Okay? So what this is all about is that you have a risk in, in the workplace, uh, eliminating the risk in terms of, um, for you know, putting a guard on a machine, uh, rotating equipment or something like that. Uh, substitution would be something related to um, uh, taking a chemical that's less, for instance, a chemical that's less toxic, okay? or taking a water-based solvent versus a, a petroleum-based solvent. You know, they tend to be uh, less harmful to the uh, to the uh, to the human body. Um, engineering type approaches is um, w particularly would be as an example would be uh, ventilation in a room uh, that has let's say chlorine like we use a lot of chlorine both in water and wastewater treatment um, and they have ventilation systems in there um, so that's a that's a hierarchy uh, that's a, a, a way to reduce risk uh, in case there's a spill or something like that I mean on top of the normal uh, the normal ventilation that you'd have in a room. Administrative stuff really has to do with uh, policies and procedures. Uh, for instance, uh, we have, you know, typically on a, on a, in a plant, uh, we have a control room uh, in a water or wastewater treatment plant. And as an example, administrative uh, control would be um, that uh, if you go out into the field, right, make sure you have to take your, uh, your radio with you, uh, where are you going in the plant, how long you expect to be there, and we're not doing that to be, you know, to be jerks or anything like that. But we're doing that for the individual safety. Individual is supposed to come back in 10 minutes, and you know they have it, and you can't get them on the radio. Uh, oh boy, you know, got to plug into action. So, a lot of these have to do with, uh, again, uh, policies and procedures that you have in your particular plant. Okay, uh, and the behavior is an interesting one. We don't, you know, when I got involved in uh, in working in plants. Um, so my first plant I ended up working in was a uh, munitions manufacturing plant uh, for the U.S. Army, uh, upstate New York. And um, what we used to see is, uh, or you see this particularly with, uh, who was it within the transportation arena? Um, one of you guys, I think maybe it was you, Morgan, that works in transportation. Oh, Paul. Um, I was doing a project out on um, uh, uh, the impacts cleanup from uh, Hurricane Sandy. Um, rebuilding a lot of, particularly a lot of electrical systems uh, on a railway, um, the MTA rail railway that goes into uh, goes into New York City, and we had a couple of Yahoo uh, contractors, okay? and um, I had to stop. Actually, I had to stop the job a couple times with this one particular company because um, they didn't want to, they, didn't, they didn't think they needed to wear uh, wear their uh, vests because it was too hot out, you know, their safety vests and things and. Uh, they didn't think they had it, wear. and I know it's hot out, but it's, them's the rules, you know, and um, that type of thing. So that's what the behavior tries to do, and it um, I see a lot less of that. Like I said, when I first entered the industry, um, there were a lot of Yahoo type, uh, you know, well, you're going to tell me what safety stuff i got to wear. So that's what that has to do, you know. And, but anyway, to that, to that. So and the PPE is personal protective equipment. That's the last level of control. Um, that's your hard hat. Um, any type of uh, breathing apparatus and things like that, gloves, okay, uh, sh you know, your boots, it's your still toed boots and that type of thing. So, so that you can see there, um, and again, that's up to the individual. Most of these are in, up to the individual and following the rules. Okay, these are kind of built in, so you can see what they mean by increasing effectiveness. Okay, uh, eliminating it from an engineering perspective and substituting a product. Okay, um, to that to that makes you know definitely works. Uh, as you come down, increasing participation and supervision is needed. So that's kind of that's how it all kind of makes sense.